All right, because I have a sickness and have to have everything Olight releases, here's the old bulb. Let's check it out. So you can see I bought all three colors of the old bulb and I took this one out already just so I had one fully charged for this review. And let's take a look at the box the old bulbs come in. Just a nice product shot of the old bulb right there on the front. Nothing on the side but branding. And then we take a look at the back and we have the specs. But we'll go over the specs a little bit later on in the video. So let's give you guys a nice close up of the red Olight old bulb here. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the Olight Old Bulb has four different modes, a high-low white mode, a steady red mode, and a flashing red mode. And it comes in three different colors, wine red, basalt gray, and moss green. It has a built-in 3.7 volt, 630 milliamp rechargeable battery. And it's charged magnetically with Olight's magnetic charger. And it takes about two hours to fully charge. And because it has a magnetic bottom, you can basically stick this on any piece of metal. Or it comes packaged with an adhesive metal badge. It has a one five meter impact resistance an ipx7 dust and waterproof rating and has a two-year warranty all right so that's enough of the quick features let's talk dimensions all right so the olight old bulb is 2.13 inches in diameter and has a height of 1.89 inches and they say it weighs 1.94 ounces on the website so let's weigh it all right let's plop it on the scale boom 1.9 ounces and in grams it's gonna be 54 grams and since it's magnetic, let's just see if it sticks. Not quite, but my scale isn't made of steel, so I wasn't really expecting it. It just has a little bit of magnetic pull to it. That's it. All right, so what exactly would you use this for? I think something like this would be pretty great for camping. If you have a power outage in your house, you can just have one of these fully charged just standing by. You can put one in your car for emergency situations, especially with that blinking red light. Or if you don't have any other lamps in your house, you can just have it around for ambient lighting. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be after looking at it on the website. I mean, in my palm, can see the size of it here. It's pretty darn small. This red one kind of reminds me of a Pokemon egg. So overall, I think it's built pretty well. It feels like it's sturdy. It does have that 1.5 meter impact resistance. We have this hard plastic diffusion globe on the top. Then we have that classic blue Olight ring that we see on their flashlights. Then we have the bottom piece here that's gonna vary in colors and that's made of a soft touch plastic. Then we have those three charging terminals there. And of course, if you're familiar with Olight, it's gonna be a magnetic charger. Just slap it on there as so. And this is an MCC one amp charger. And as I mentioned earlier, it's gonna take about two hours to fully charge one of these old bulbs. So I'm gonna fully open one of these just so you can see exactly what comes in a box. Congratulate you on your Olight old bulb purchase. And it comes wrapped in plastic. And yes, this is the moss green here, so pretty appropriate. The red and green, so close to Christmas time. Then on the bottom here, we have Another box and inside here is going to be our magnetic charger right here. And we have an owner's manual and then right here we have that adhesive metal badge which is a little more high quality than I was expecting. This is made of metal so if you have nowhere else to stick the old bulb in your house you can just peel off the sticker back here stick it to your old bulb and then you can actually put this anywhere you want to on a wall or even on the ceiling. And because this is green that came out of the moss green old bulb, looks like they give you the different colors in the different old bulbs here. So of course this metal badge is red. So that means I'm guessing the one that comes in the basalt gray is a gray metal badge. And yes, of course, I'm gonna show you guys what the gray one looks like right here. So. We have all three. We have the wine red, the basalt gray, and the moss green right here. All right, so now let's talk about the operating system here. Pretty simple. It's just a single button that's located right dead center 
on the bottom of the O-bulb. And it's super easy. It's just a single press on and a single press off. And then just like any other O-light, if you wanna cycle through the modes, you have to hold it in. So there's low, high, red, and the red flashing mode. And to turn it off, just short press it again, off. And surprisingly, it does have a memory feature. So if we turn it on and go to high, turn it off, turn it back on, goes right back to high, which I really like that. I wasn't really expecting a memory feature in these little old bulbs. And check this out, because that button is on the bottom here, you can have this right on a table and just press it and it turns right on. And it will work just by holding it down and then we can cycle through the modes right on your table or if you have this on your wall, it'll work exactly the same way. Then if you just wanna turn it off, press it right off. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's talk about lumens and runtime here. So on low is 3.5 lumens and that'll last for 56 hours. On high is 55 lumens and that'll last for three hours. And now let's go to the red modes. The solid red light is seven lumens and that'll last for seven hours. And then the flashing red is also seven lumens and that'll last for 30 hours. So I don't know, I guess I'm gonna keep one around the house just for emergency power situations, which this would be perfect for. Just put that little adhesive metal badge stick it on your wall and put this right into a closet. And then when you need light, just press it as so. But I get super lazy and forgetful and I would actually forget that I have this hanging on a wall somewhere. So I think I'm just gonna stick this in a drawer somewhere fully charged. And if I need it, such as a power outage or some emergency situation, just take it out and you know, should be pretty useful. And this 55 lumen high mode is pretty darn bright. And because it's a half a globe, it has that nice 360 degree light. So you can put this right in the center of a room and it'll just light 360 degrees around it. And for the second one, I just might keep in my car. I think one of these would be great for inside your car. For example, if you break down, we got the solid red light here, but in particular, this flashing red. Especially if you get a flat tire, you can just put this right on the side of the road while you're working, just so you're visible to other drivers. But this is small enough to fit in a backpack or even your pocket if you have to. So I can see this going on a camping trip and being a pretty nice light for a tent. Now on the website, it shows people camping and they have this in their tent and there's a hook on it, but it doesn't come with that hook. That hook, of course, is optional, but that would have been cool to include that hook with this old bulb. And the third one, I might just give to my girlfriend, just put it in her car and use for the same exact reasons. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Olight O-Bulb? Now, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. They're not affiliate links. I actually bought these on the last Olight flash sale. Those flash sales, they get me every time. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!